I have here a Cyglite Metro, and I got to the point where it would not take a charge any longer. It would turn on just fine if you plugged in the USB, but the moment you took it out, um, the light would not power on. And while it was charging, instead of blinking, this uh, LED light would just hold steady. So I decided that the battery was most likely gone. So I disassembled it, and I have it over here and found that the original battery looks like this and I disconnected it so so to take it apart simply remove the three screws there's one up in that corner one in that corner Phillips head and one on the bottom and then you just separate this piece from this piece and this is what the piece looks like there's a gasket here and the lens is sealed and the circuit board with the USB connector at the back there and apologize for the focus there uh, the push button on top there and this is the back part of it battery slides into there and this goes in the end of the battery once it's in there to kind of keep the battery in place. And of course, this plugs into the circuit board. Well, I looked at this type of battery and found that it was a lithium ion. And I don't know if I can focus. There's a little, let's see. Now it does want to focus. Anyway, it says uh, model 18650. And I just happened to have some from a flashlight and other things laying around. You can purchase these uh, through Amazon, eBay, whatever. And this particular one is not flat top. It has a rounded top, but uh, either flat top or rounded top will work. And my thought is to simply solder and tape some wires on each side and replace it. And that way I don't need to purchase um, a new Cygolite. I can just simply replace the battery. And this one has 3,800 milliamp hours, whereas the original only came with 2,200. So this battery will actually last longer. Charges will last longer. So just to quickly tell you what I've done is I have taped the end of some wire with a um, piece of, I put a piece of foil um, that I cut up and folded a couple of times. And I stuck the wire in between that. And then I taped that very securely to the top. And then my particular one had a hole in the top. You can't really see it very well. But so I just stripped back the wire and ran it through the hole and then soldered it. And then I've tested it with my voltmeter and I have voltage. I then took the circuit board and finding that the left side was positive and the right side was negative, then I flip it upside down. Of course, that puts the left side negative. And so I soldered this black and green wire so that I can keep my original configuration. And then what I will do is simply slip the circuit board back in there, solder the green and black wires, and you can use any colors, uh, to the actual battery here. And then I will have a working light once again so anyway i have already tested it and it works i just uh don't right now have the time to put it all back together but i hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you have any questions bye